At Missouri Botanical Garden, we produce lots of different maps for our staff. Um, these include maps for inventories. The most basic map that we, we would create would be just a map of what plants are located where. Um, we also use GIS to produce maps for landscape design. Uh, a, a horticulturist might want to create a new design for an area and we can create a map that has all of the hardscape features and maybe some of the plant, larger plantings that need to stay where they are and then they can, we can overlay a grid and then they can um, use that grid to give them an idea of scale and how many plants would fit in a certain area. For the public, we have a web mapping application that they can access where they can search for a plant by common name, by scientific name, or by donor. Because a lot of people um, purchase a tree or a plant um, for their loved ones and they often come to the garden and want to see that plant. So they can create a map and print that out for themselves. We use Heads Up Digitizing to map our plants. Um, we use uh, we have an ortho photograph that's four inch resolution and we can, we've used a tablet PC so we, with ArcMap software loaded onto it and we can see on that ortho photo um, pretty much all of the plants in the collection. Our garden is only 80 acres and the photo was taken in winter so there was no canopy to um, obscure the plants and so we just tap on the plant where it's located on the photo and enter the accession number. Um, we're transitioning away from the tablet PC and are moving towards using an iPad to map the collections. I think one of the most basic things that we can do with our GIS that we couldn't do before is simply knowing where plants are in a visual way. Seeing results is one thing when you're looking at a spreadsheet, but being able to look at a map and see results um, is really gratifying and then being able to symbolize those things in a beautiful way and to make that information as helpful to other people, I like that. Thank you IMLS for your support.